The high pressure system receives gases from cylinders at high, variable pressures and then reduces them to a lower, more constant pressure suitable for use in machines. It consists of a hanger yoke assembly. Check valves, pressure indicator or gauge, and pressure regulators. The high pressure system is usually not used unless the pipeline supply is unavailable. The hanger yoke assembly is basically a structure that connects cylinders to the anesthesia machine. It performs three important functions. 1. Orients and supports the cylinder. 2. Ensures tight seal between cylinder and machine. 3. Ensures unidirectional gas flow. The machine standard recommends that there be at least one yoke for oxygen and nitrous oxide. If the machine is likely to be used in settings without the pipeline supply, it is wise to use double yoke machine especially for oxygen cylinder. The hanger yoke assembly consists of body of the yoke. Retaining screw. Nipple. Index pins. Washer or botic seal. Filter. And check valve assembly. The sketch of the hanger yoke with cylinder attached to it is shown here. The body is the portion of the yoke that attaches to the frame of the machine. It provides support to the cylinder and has a hinge that can be swung open and closed to load and unload the cylinder. The retaining screw is threaded into the back of the yoke. It presses the outlet or port of the cylinder valve tightly against the washer and the nipple when it is tightened. The conical point of the retaining screw is shaped to fit the conical depression of the cylinder. The nipple of the yoke is the inlet through which the gas enters the machine. It fits into the outlet port of the cylinder valve. If the nipple is damaged, the tight seal cannot be achieved between the yoke and the cylinder. The two index pins are situated below the nipple. It functions to prevent mounting of incorrect gas cylinders to the yoke. Specific length and positions of index pins are designed to fit the specifically positioned holes on the cylinder valves. This is called pin index safety system. The pin index safety system, or PIS for short, is a mechanism used for attaching cylinders to regulators and anesthesia machine. It involves two precise holes in the cylinder valves that perfectly align with the two pins on the receiving yoke. When these pins and holes don't align, the cylinder's port won't fit snugly into the nipple of the hanger yoke. This system was devised to prevent the inadvertent placement of a cylinder containing the wrong medical gas onto the hanger yoke of an anesthesia machine that was designed for a different gas. The positioning of the holes utilizes an arc of a circle centered around the port, with seven hole positions equally spaced along it. Various combinations of these holes are chosen for different gases. The corresponding pins on the hanger yoke are precisely designed to fit perfectly into these holes. For example, oxygen is identified by the pin index of 2 and 5, nitrous oxide by 3 and 5, and medical air by 1 and 5. Entinox, on the other hand, is distinguished by having only the hole numbered 7, which aligns vertically beneath the center of the port. The leak-free fitting between machine and the cylinder is achieved by the use of sealing washer called botic seal. It is made up of non-combustible material and the metal periphery to protect its edges. Only one washer should be used between the yoke and the valve of the cylinder. Filters are placed between the cylinder and the pressure-reducing valves to prevent particulate matters from entering the machines. The check valve assembly allows the gas to enter the machine but prevents gas from exiting the machine when there are no cylinders on the yoke. 
The valve basically consists of a plunger that slides away from the site of greater pressure thereby occluding the orifice through which the gas flows. In this diagram, as the gas enters the check valve assembly, it causes the valve to move away from the seat allowing the gas to pass through. In this second diagrams, when the pressure or the flow is reversed, the valve is pushed against the seat preventing the gas entry. In a double yoke machine, it also prevents the transfer of gas from the cylinder with high pressure to the one with low pressure for the same reason. It allows for changing the cylinder without having to unmount the in-use cylinder. While the check valve assembly serves to restrict gas flow when no cylinders are attached, it doesn't create a permanent seal for the empty yoke, potentially allowing some gas to escape. Therefore, it's advisable to always replace the yoke with a cylinder or utilize a yoke plug to prevent leaks once the cylinder is empty. The cylinder valve should always be closed when not in use. Cylinder pressure indicator displays pressure for each gases. It is located on the panel in front of the machine or near the cylinder. These indicators are called Borden gauge and should read in PSI or kilopascals. A Borden gauge is a hollow metal tube made up of copper alloy bent to a curve with sealed end and linked to a clock-like mechanism. As the gas pressure within the tube increases, the tube straightens. This motion is transferred through the gear mechanism into the indicator arrow as shown. Gauges are color-coded and the name and symbol are labeled on the dial. They are placed in such a way that it's easily visible to the anesthetist. If Borden tube ruptures, gas is vented out from the back of the pressure gauge. Some machines has electronic indicators that uses light-emitting diode or LED to indicate cylinder use status and fill status. The indicator is dark when cylinders are closed, green when the cylinder is open with adequate pressure, and red with inadequate pressure. The pressure-reducing device or regulators function to maintain constant flow of gas with the changing supply pressure from the cylinder. This reduces the high and variable pressure found in the cylinder to a lower, 40 to 45 psi, suitable for use in anesthesia machines. Machine standard mandates a pressure regulator for each gas is used on anesthesia machines. Pressure regulators reduce a supply or inlet pressure to a lower outlet pressure and work to maintain this outlet pressure despite fluctuations in the inlet pressure. It achieves this through a basic principle that pressure exerted by any applied force is inversely proportional to the area it acts upon. So, the output pressure of the regulator is dependent on the force exerted by the spring and the area of the diaphragm. When the inlet pressure from the cylinder is high, this will force the spring back, reducing the force exerted by spring on the diaphragm and consequently the pressure of the output. When the inlet pressure reduces, the spring will exert more pressure on the diaphragm, thereby increasing the output pressure. The output pressure is fixed by the manufacturing company and hence these are called as fixed pressure regulators.